problems with Johnson and Craig for you guys? Well, uh, it's a couple of things. First of all, he's so quick. He, he's so quick, and he has an ability to make things happen in the paint. And then the, what they're doing offensively is really, uh, it's really catered to what he does. They're sitting all those middle pick and rolls, and 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 we we didn't do a very good job on him. He he can he can do a lot of things. He can get in the paint and create. He can get in the paint and score. And the thing he surprised us on tonight, you know, he hit a couple threes. I know he's made made a couple coming in, but I think the strength of his game is driving. But when he when he's making shots, he's really good. Jordan, for you, I mean, you know, going up against an ACC team, I mean, you kind of expect that out of him to compete with that that level of play. Yeah, he's a high level player. I mean, he he's one of those guys. You know, y'all y'all seen basketball enough to know mid major basketball. You know, the key to the key to having a good team, you've got to have some guys who are capable of playing at a higher level, and they just slip through the cracks for recruiting reasons, for whatever you know, whatever reason. But he's a he's a guy that could play you know at any level, particularly as a as a veteran like he is. But he he battled. I mean, they're they're. Uh, I was I was impressed with Pittsburgh's physicality. It didn't I knew they were quick and athletic, but but man, they were they were physical around that rim and they they fought him in there. I think Derek Wilson framed him three consecutive three pointers and he almost pulled the team out of his own just single handedly. He was the difference in the game. I thought in the first half he 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 flipped the momentum a little bit and in the second half for sure. Like we were really struggling with their with their ball screen offense and, and you know, screening in the middle of the floor and rolling that five to the rim or, or the point guard or whoever had, whoever had the ball getting to the rim. So the counter to that is you, you play zone to try to keep, you know, to try to contain a dribble. And then he hits three. We, he, he hit three before we could get out of the zone. I mean, yes, he, he certainly was one man, got us out of that zone. Uh, this is senior Jordan Bernardo. <laughs> Uh, Jordan, it seems like, uh, you know, Pitt kind of tried to play you physical, and it looks like that's something you're used to. You weren't really complaining to the refs or anything. I mean, is that what you get in night in and night out? Um, yes, from every team I play against. Um, you know, they're trying to match my physicality every time I play, so I just got to just gotta keep working, just keep fighting in, inside the paint and just try to stick back, um, stick with it. You had uh, talked some, Phil, about their uh, physicality uh, down low. I mean, you know, this is a team in the first couple games with the relative lack of size. They had struggled rebounding, you know, and a little bit on the low post. I mean, were, your, were your, you surprised at all, you know, b uh, by what you saw tonight or how did it match up to your expectations? Well, we knew their, their center, you know, they, the, all, the, all three centers they play were the two for certain. They're really big and athletic, and they've got length in there, so we knew. You know, we might have some some difficulty scoring on those guys, but we thought our advantage was Jordan uh, against their their four guys. But they did a good job, and, you know. And, and and like Jordan said, he faces this night in and night out, and people try to people try to get on his uh, his top shoulder and take away the ball uh, when he got there. But yeah, I was I was impressed, and, and and seeing them in person, they're they're a little bigger, and particularly at that you know at that four spot, I think they had Tony guarding him a bunch, and they're a little bigger and more physical than we anticipated from the video. Obviously, we're pretty early in, in the season, but for both of you guys, I mean, having played at St. Louis, played them close at Pitt, you know, you, you, uh, you all were close with them for most of the night and, you know, and kept at it when they could have pulled away multiple times. What do you think you guys learned about your team and about your group in the past few games? Well, we just told our guys, I mean, the, the thing, we, our concern coming into this two-game swing was, and you all see when Pitt plays St. Louis next week, is this is, two, you know, for us, this is two of the most physical teams we'll play all year. And we didn't we didn't back down a bit. St. Louis out rebounded us by two, and we were even with with Pittsburgh tonight. And and uh, so I, I just think we learned, you know, I learned we can play with you know in a, in a physical setting. Uh, but but secondly, you know, and this is just basketball at all levels right now. You've got to make some threes. Uh, you just I mean Wilson Frame was the difference in the game. He goes six for ten from the line, and and we we never got it going from the three point line.